Hey guys, it's time for the Machinist review. This time we're going to be doing a post commentary of of the DM, of DMK King's latest script, Evil's Evil's Seal and Lunatic. And the reason I'm doing post commentary is because I we recorded this to so I guess to better get my phones across, and it turns out my audio was not recorded. So this is what we're doing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's begin watching. So the first thing I should mention about this script is that I'm not going to read the dialogue. I and the plot you presented is very interesting to me personally because I really like a good story in these kind of scripts. However, there is a fundamental issue of this. So you're mentioning that this is underground in caves. First of all, I am assuming the fact that these are in fact caves that are beneath the Skull of the Devil Mansion. And if that's the case, then the Holy Waters, which in fact appears to include dizziness, or, lightheaded, or the feeling of being lightheaded, means that you are kind of screwing yourself. That means the, the Skull of the Devil Mansion relatives are being affected by this because apparently, I'm assuming this was from the Holy Water, that is. That it's been affected by hum that it can be affect humans or yokai. And also the Jamaku itself is alright. I just kinda wish there was a difficulty option that was that you know was normal. Something normal. And the slowdown in this spell card is absolutely fucking ridiculous and I hate it. And also we have Cold Steel Magical Duet, which is a very interesting spell card to me. But it suffers from the issue of of immense slowdown. And there, yeah, that's about it for that one. Anyway, we have Wind and Metal, Razor Storm. That is fun indeed. Very, very fun. So, as I can no doubt tell, that the tobacco quality is a lot better, but at the same time. I kind of feel like it's a step backwards in, in a sort of way, because I really like the Persona 5 style cuttings, even though it does cause a lot of lag in the process. And there we go. Mid boss is down. Yep, so pure down here, it's again lightheaded. And Yukari seems to know what the hell is going on around here, and it's Kokuma. I don't know why she is down here, providing that she is a devil. And yeah, it's a seal. Animals wall of a seal. There are more that be on those walls. This man, and yeah, it's a man. A man in Gen Soko? Oh no. Yeah, actually, yeah, I do have questions as well. How come the holy water is not affecting her? But yeah, it's affecting Reimu to make her feel lightheaded. Unless it is affecting her and she's just not saying it audible, audible, audibly. And it's rather showing for the Jamaku. Which appears to be rather chaotic. Stolen magic, devil's recitation. Okay, this spell card literally makes no sense to me. Why does she have this? I was expecting to more do like the conceal the conclusion where she tend where she tend to use like frozen magic. She can kind of had the element of ice. You know, we also show with the element of fire. This one just kind of feels like she just took a random bunch of spell spell cards and called it a day. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I like this non spell. It's one of my favorites. I just wish there was a little bit of less wall in here. It is pretty fun to do. I can admit that, even though I'm pretty horrible at, at dodging here. It's kind of funny. Pass me, was, pass me to have done this twice over now. And I am not sure if that can kill you. I might need to test that. Genesis, a home in the making. Spoiler alert, this is the only spell card that I capture in this script. In this run through. I like this one actually. Pretty pretty unique. A lot of my face recording. I literally had some of the some of the eyes of some of the snowflakes not appear on the lasers when they should have. Oh 
also, this is probably the worst non-spell. I... I'm not sure what to do here. Am I, am I supposed to, like, lower it the other way? Also, I, also, I do like that part of the pattern. But it's this first part that, that really gets me. I always die to it. Made up of a thousand crows. I hate this non-spell. Sorry, not non-spell. I, I hate this spell card. That's pretty much how I summed it up in recording. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I also hate the next one as well. I just hate it. It's like one of the worst things ever. And death. And bomb. Oh, so this is probably the weirdest non-spell of the entire thing. It makes no sense. What is happening here? It just kind of feels like she's lost her shit. I mean, look, she fires all sorts of bullets at you. It makes no sense. She had, I mean, probably the, the best non-spell of the entire thing was the first non-spell. Where it actually kind of resembles her bullet patterns in Boy Mother's Call of Devil. Hungry eyes, very paranoid. I believe I can summon this quite well. No. And also there is that weird loop in as well. And I died as well. Look great! I really do not like, do not like that, that spell card whatsoever. And life sign, a flower that doesn't fragrance. Okay, I like this one, kind of. I just, and yeah, I did not react fast enough to that, so I died. That was kind of my fault. And I do it again. Great. I think, I don't know why. I mean, yeah, there is definitely that, but maybe you could do like a little charge up instead? Like, then why that something's gonna happen so I can react a bit faster? Also, this is just awful. This survival is absolutely awful. It's one of the worst survivals I have ever seen in my life, and I hate it with a, with a burning passion. I mean, at least it's not leading me into a circle like most of these survivals do. And random explosion. That call that only some of them are caused bullets to appear out of. I'm and she appears and so I review and then she releases bullet. And literally cause no point. I've never died to them. Cause there's only one way I could think you could die to them. Yep. This is a material for you. So it's implying that we're going inside that field of the next script. And she just leaves. You only hear about that now? Don't get careless though. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So, this is probably the part of the video where I like give my thoughts on it. I kind of think it was a step down. Yeah, sure. So I believe there was some good points about it, but yeah, at the same time, there wasn't. I kind of felt like the the bad outweighed the good. Sure, I'm kind of <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of invested in the story a bit, or that you presented, but I just kind of think there's a fundamental issue where the demon does not get affected by the holy water's influence, but yet, but yeah, Rainbow does. I guess that could be like a reference to Junko, but it just kind of doesn't work. I would kind of like it if, like, another, if it was like a human boss, like Sakia or Patrol or Patroloy, he was down here and got affected by it, who went mad, be trying to trying to fix the seal or something, because that could have been interesting. But I just kind of think even with like Kokomi here, it just kind of undermines it, and also, also the, there's also for many issues of the script lagging a lot, especially with the especially with the Collins. 
you know, the Persona 5 is pretty cool with with the few the, the, the ugh, god damn it the Persona 5 cut-ins are pretty cool although I kind of think you could have used some custom font for that the, like the font they use in the game and it also takes like five seconds for it to load up to like load up a small card after after you summon that anyway that's gonna be it for me so see you guys next time bye bye